Tonight, one person is behind bars arrested for allegedly attacking a bus driver, but BRPD needs your help locating two others involved in a school bus driver attack. NBC Local 33's Jessica Knox has the story. Teachers primarily, bus drivers, custodial workers, cafeteria workers, all who are entrusted with working with our children, we have to keep them safe. We want to warn you, this video is disturbing. <laughs> In this clip, the bus driver tells the student to sit down. The 13 year old from Kenilworth Science and Technology Charter School then tells the driver her mother would slap her. The student then called for her mom and while on route, uh, the mom and the sister arrived on scene. The bus driver opened the door in an attempt to have some type of discussion with the parent. BRPD says the mom got on the bus and attacked the driver. Shortly after the scaffold, all three fled the scene before police arrived. 18-year-old Carlicia Lewis has been arrested. Now, police are looking for 34-year-old Brittany Banks and her 13-year-old daughter. All will face multiple charges, including second-degree battery of a school bus driver. You could have called the school board, the school itself, to uh, file a complaint against the driver. But once you cross that line of physically attacking someone, uh, the game has now changed. We now have an arrest warrant. That particular situation will now be handled in court. Police say the driver sustained several injuries, including a broken finger and multiple injuries to her head, neck, and shoulder. One educator says something needs to be done about attacks on school staff. And whether or not we have the authority at the local level to put a law in place or a bill in place or a policy in place to prevent this from happening. If in fact we do have that authority, yes, I'm going to be bringing legislation to the body. Jessica Noss, NBC Local 33 News. Now, if you have any information that can help out police in that situation, call Crime Stoppers at 344-7867.